Hey guys, Uncle Bricks here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Classic Knight set. It includes 46 pieces, recommended for ages 6 and up, and in the US, the way you get this set is you spend $50 or more at the LEGO store. And only VIPs are able to get this set when they spend $50 or more at the LEGO store or LEGO shop at home. Alright, so let's get into the review. The package of this set is really cool. You got a picture of it with this, um, like white studs, but that's that's just completely flat. This is like the classic pirate set in classic um, space set from 2014 and 15. It's got a little sticker thing, not a sticker, but it's a, like a little banner thing that says 2016, like a little brick seal thing, pretty cool. Turning it around, it's got the, the classic Lego system logo, so it's that same little sign again. Back, no picture, a lot of words in different languages, <laughs> but got the Lego logo there. Same thing over here. And that's that. Got that Lego system logo again. Alright, so let's get this set open. So it's got a single piece of tape right here. Just cutting that open. Like that, and it lets you pull the whole thing open like that. Now that's that's pretty cool. So this is is completely empty. And right here we got a a bag. Oh, that's actually that is really cool. It's a resealable bag. So like you peel it off like that, and you can reseal it. That's cool. Right here, the other thing is we have a a postcard sticker sheet which that's really neat got all the all the different knights all the way up to to um clay right there like a system sticker these are all really cool stickers classic knights all these figures are really neat that's really cool I think this is the one right here that we're trying that they have a that's included in the set here's the Instruction booklet has the same pattern on it as the book. Right here is just the building instructions, which end right there. It's got this cool timeline. Shows the um, the yellow castle knights. That's like the first. They actually had a throwback to these knights in the in the Lego Nexo Knights episode. Look and more of this stuff. It's really cool. Continuing on more nights. More Knights, 2000, Knights Kingdom, Castle, 2009 Castle, 2010 Kingdoms, up to the 2013 Castle, and finally, 2016 Nexo Knights, and this little set right there. Some more Knights right here, ending with the 2016 King Hilbert, I think his name is. Shows the night set right there. Pretty cool. Let's get this thing built. I'd like to uh, stop the time lapse for a second to um, point out that this is actually the old Lego hook mold. The newer one is actually different than this. Very cool that they actually use the old hook mold for these hooks because that's actually how the piece looked back when these knights were released. So that is uh, very cool. I definitely think that's neat that they went that extra effort to use that older mold. Alright, and one more thing I'd like to notice about the um, the detail of this set is that the um, the instruction booklet is actually like woven with thread. It's actually like binded with actual thread or string or something. And I just really thought that was really cool. Like the um, take a look at it right there. It got real string, not like the regular 
Lego instruction manuals. Thought that was cool. Alright, let's take a look at the set itself. Alright, so I'd like to compare some figures first. So if you can see, this is what the set looks like. And that's the set that looks like they're trying to copy. Right there, from 1986. It's a similar little thing. It's got two figures and some little, um, with those wheels and the little, um, spears with the white poles with them. And then look at this one. It's almost exactly the same. Except, uh, this one, that one doesn't use any slope pieces. It uses, like, a weird brick-built bow arm thing. But it's really cool. Anyways, so, I have a, one of the old figures here. And, uh, I like to compare them. So the older ones actually had their, um, let me just see in there for a second. Did the ones in here have these figures right here? Looks like they had them in light gray, but the one I have is in old gray. Also, their accessories, their swords were in old gray, but the, um, the newer ones are in light dark bluish gray. The shields are almost identical. Mine's a little smudged because and scraped because it's very, very old. But then the, the torso printing is very similar. As you can see. It's actually a lot more detailed on this one. If that's gonna focus. You can see like the claws of the lion. Or then if we look at this one. Right here, just get it to focus. Come on, there we go. You can see that they're a lot. Um, this one's a lot less detailed. The um, the printing is a lot less crisp. And then there's the um, the obvious thing about the heads being a different shape. If you can see just the shape of those heads in the top, the newer one and the older one. Alright, let's get into the review of the actual set. So I guess that takes care of the minifigure review. And now onto the little battle cart. It uses the old wheels, which is cool. And has the, uh, another one of those shields in the front, which is really cool to get. Turning it around. Looks neat. It's got these little thorn things. And in tribute to the old holder set, it's got this um weird little canister thing right there. It's like black and yellow. It's kind of weird. Anyways, then you can play where you take the you pretend to um load the thing back, and you can lift it up, and I guess you can just pretend that it shoots all the way over there. And then you can load another one and shoot it all the way over there. And then you can load your final shot and hit the enemy knights. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's very simple. That's the point. One final thing is that you can uh, you can actually put your uh, you can clip your little other accessories on right there. I guess you can't really put the shield on. But I guess you could maybe put the other shield right up there, kind of. And then with the, that off, you can make your minifigure right here. Run around with it and operate it. Take it to the... Uh, follow the action with it. Alright, that's it for the review. Please share your opinion of this really cool little set in the comment section below. Feel free to disagree with me if you completely hate the set for whatever reason. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.